What is happening, guys? Cowboy here, and we're back with Nier Automata. So, did a little bit of work. Um, I do have Ancient Overlord now, so that and Fang of the Twins both upgrade to offer crit, which I think will be pretty dirty when comboed together. I also went through all the chips I had, so now I have equipped Shockwave plus one, Evade Range up plus three, and Max HP up plus two. So, Pretty nice uh, distribution there. The shockwave in particular seems like it's pretty neat. I don't know how strong it is, but you can see I'm sending out little shockwaves every time I attack, which I think is sweet, so. Let's do that. I'm not talking to you, I was trying to heal. Anyway, let's continue on, right after I snatch this. Do androids even need beds? Like, what the hell does resting do for me? Moving forward from here, what do I do? Quests. Uh, I have no quests. These are done. Hmm. Well, do you have anything else for me, lady? You're bored. There are plenty of people around here who could use your help. I mean, everyone seems to be pretty good. Maybe there's something back here. Dude, that back dodge, that's awesome looking. Alright, so it looks like I can't do anything back here. Just a second ago, she was all like, oh, there's tons of people who could use your help. Like, what? Nobody is, like, even talking to me. I don't know. Generally, if, if nobody's using words, if it's just text, I'm just kind of skipping through it. They all seem kind of like basic bitches, you know. I'm not hearing anything, so I guess I'm just gonna go out. Like I don't, I don't know what to do next. Maybe, uh, here we go. Operator to 9S. This is 9S. Go ahead. I have an incoming message for 2B and 9S from the commander. Initiating playback. 2B, 9S. We've lost contact with several Yorha units that were on their way to the surface. Their black boxes are online, so we presume they're still alive. We've tracked the location of their signals, so I need all Yorha units on the surface to head over and investigate. End transmission. Hmm. I heard something about that back at the Resistance camp. Target location confirmed. I'm worried about the other androids. We should probably check this out as soon as possible. They probably just got fucked up by, uh, by the weird robo-human. I'm excited to see the potential of this, uh, this new weapon, the crit. Well, the crit plus the shockwave, like, I wonder if it's gonna be, like, super badass combined. Like, can I have critical shockwaves? Because that sounds like it would be really dirty. Just AoE critical hits going off. Let's see how good the... No, 
that's that's just uh No, that's me throwing the sword. No, that's just a... Damn, I can't tell if that's actually, like, hitting or if it's just a shockwave hitting. So the regular hits... The regular hits are doing, like, 38. Then what are the shockwaves doing? Like, 9? Looks like our surface route's been cut off. Maybe we can get through from underground. So, 2B, those machines out in the desert look just like androids, right? Right. But we androids were modeled after our human creators. So why would machines try to look like us? Hmm. There's no point trying to work out unsolvable problems. I suppose. The other thing is if I swing, am I getting damage from the attack and from the shockwave? Because if so, that just seems like a straight up attack boost. I mean, obviously the one I have is rather weak, but if it was like a shockwave plus eight. That was the other thing. I also read up on um, combining chips and all that jazz. The machines are having like a festival over here. Which just makes it even more sketchy, like, that the machines aren't probably machines, they're probably, like, actually human or something. But, I mean, it doesn't make sense that they were, like, climbing on walls and they birthed out a thing. Like, I don't know. There's, there's way too much going on that I don't understand with these machines. I mean, it looks like they're just trying to mimic human society, but... I'm hitting for 28 damage with the shockwave, and then, uh, wow, 125 with the sword. So yeah, this is badass. So you think about it, if the shockwaves alone, the shockwaves are hitting for like 28 in the 30s, and then I'm hitting for like 100 something. Hit 122. That's a 25% increase in damage by using shockwaves. And that's not even including potential critical hits. It's showing on the mini-map like it's an enemy. Path over there. I guess I have to use that upper thing to reach it.
These ones like aren't hostile, but There's no such thing as a good machine. Some of this shit I need is like upgrade materials. But well, we're gonna leave this one alive. I mean, I killed the back entrance one, but they might respawn. Maybe. Hopefully. Is there a way to. Let me see if there's a way to just check my. Uh Damn it. I was hoping there's a way to like check what I need to upgrade. I'll have to write it down. Cause I know some of that stuff, like the acorns and the tree sap and all that, those were on the list so as like things I needed. Why they're not? Why these ones are passive and the other ones aren't? But easy XP is easy XP in my book. This gate isn't going to open. Maybe there's an back entrance with the dude that I killed. Wait, don't kill me? What is that for? God, man, PSN trophies load so slow. Ten friendly life machines destroyed. Corridor lead. We're getting resistance signals from that building over there. Watch that. Oh, that, <clears throat> that would be fucked up. I was just thinking how, like, there were all those dead androids. What if the robots are killing androids and, like, I don't know, somehow extracting parts and like, you know, small pieces of AI from them. And that was the, the, the humanoid machine they just made, was like the machines building their own android to counter us androids. But they did it through the bodies of the dead androids. Let's look around for a route we can take. Thank you. 
that's a tank. These machines are heavily armed. We'll regret it later if we let them escape. So let's take them out. Did I? I feel like I unequipped in my pod. Yes, I did. <laughs> okay. Sitting there, I'm like, why can I not shoot the laser? Seemed too easy. What's this? Some kind of crystal? Analysis. It is a core fragment from the machine life form. It is similar in structure to a plant cell. A plant cell? It is a device that propels humans on rails at high speeds for the purposes of amusement. It was commonly referred to as a roller coaster. Humans sure are strange creatures. I'm thinking I actually have to take the roller coaster. I'm guessing this is going to be locked. Hey, 2B? Yes? People who know me well usually call me Nines, so... Oh. So what do you think? Of? I mean, if you want to call me nines, it's totally okay. I'm good. <coughs> oh, um. All right. Shock plus one. Shockwave plus three. Damn, might want to put that on right now. What? EXP gain plus two? Yo, that goes on right now. What is this? Is this HP? HP is good. Evade range up. I can forego it for all I care. Um. 8%. Damn, that's great. Drop rate. Ooh. We're going to put drop rate on it as well. I'll, I'll give up shockwave for XP gain and drop rate. Because you figure that's just, that's more experience and more items, which more items means more shit to sell and faster leveling up. I'm going to have to save money, though. I need to buy more, uh, more chip slots. So I think I'm going to... Well, I think my next purchase, I'm going to get something aside from the laser. Um, I like the one that looks like it's spears that shoot out of the ground. That could be fun. And there was another one. Um, which one was the other one I was thinking about doing? There's spears. The hammer looked like it could be kind of cool. And there was one that just analyzes and then hits everyone in range. That one could be badass too. 